Today's 12-minute talk show. Are you ready? It's brought to you by... <laughs> H-E-B sparkling water. Uh, I find it funny that in the comments, uh, when people <clears throat> say stuff, like the last... The last... 12 minute talker pocket, whatever. I was wearing a what is that thing called? The the whoopee? I don't, yeah, uh, in the yellow hat. And some guy said that's a vibe. That's a vibe, dude. What does that mean, dude? It's a vibe, bro. For real, for real. <laughs> what, what are they? Shit. <laughs> what do they mean? Do we stand on business around here. Shit. Does that mean, uh, aesthetically that my outfit? If, as you kids would say, is pleasing. I, I don't know the origin of it. it. Like vibe is just like like oh like like dude he's uh like it's almost like a wish, I wish I had that fit. But <laughs> I'm just gonna go start going deep down the rabbit hole of Zoomer language. <laughs> I had to teach Sean some Zoomer language the other day. But anyway, a vibe is like. Do you know like when you're vibing? You know, it's like. <laughs> You've never vibed before? Uh, no, apparently that day I was vibing, John. Like, like when I'm in my room and I like, have my hood on and I might listen to music and like the, the lighting's just right and then like the smells are like a candle's going, you know? And it's just like, that's a vibe, dude. <laughs> like that's what that's what it means. Oh, boy. Anyways. <laughs> Today's 12-minute talk. We're going to talk about 22 Creed. We haven't talked about 22 Creed in a minute. Um. This is gonna this is gonna be called Twenty Two Creed on a budget, uh, because you know that it, people, budgets exist. Yeah, you know. um, I don't want to be known as like you know they only talk about expensive stuff. Me 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 me. Expensive stuff is cool. Yeah, I know. I say have it all. Have have all the things. Although. <laughs> There's a reason why shit's expensive. But anyways, that's not the topic of this podcast. We've already talked about that. Complaining about expensive rifles in a previous podcast. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. John says so. <laughs> he wants to see me miserable at uh, what is it, Disney World or Land? What? Uh, I think we're doing Land. And that's got to like be in like October. <laughs> I think. <laughs> we're, we're like we're planning it out where it's actually it'll, it'll be like. Just like on rails and probably manageable versus like the shit show that it probably would have been otherwise. <laughs> well, anyways, before we get going, be sure and go check out com, or if you're a Midland, fuck it up every time. Mid, Mid- Midland. Midland. You know what? I'm just going to embrace it. Midland. <laughs> be sure and go buy Ally Outdoors. Lots of new stuff coming in. Suppressors. Quick turnaround times. That's going to be a topic of podcast that you'll probably hear before this. So maybe this was useless. <laughs> How has that affected suppressor sales, John? I noticed that y'all can't keep shit in stock now. I think I have more, which, and this was even going to prior, but like we have more suppressors on order, like just right now than we like yeah. historically sold in a whole year. Which um, I think it's great. Yeah, it's pretty, cool. Pretty good. So, anyways, let's get to today's topic, which is 22 Creed More on a budget. Uh, OG followers, you know, real OG followers, not you newcomers, uh, would have known I did a mass back, back before video days, I did a massive write-up on budget build 22 Creed based off of a Ruger American chambered in 2250. Came in a 1 in 10 twist barrel. I have a uh, new king of the budget builds as it pertains to 22 Creedmoor. That is this Tika. Now, this is not... Oh, let me just... I'm getting ahead of myself. Everybody wants in the 22 Creed game, now that Hordity, uh It is officially... Wait, I th- I'm pretty sure at the time of this, it officially has its semi-spec certification. If not, very soon. So you're going to see, in my opinion, you're going to see much more of a mainstay as far as factory rifles. There has been talk of other companies jumping on this bandwagon. I hope they do. Be cool. I am super stoked from an ammo manufacturing side standpoint that it is semi spec because before, the chamber offerings were all over the place because, you know, all the gunsmiths know better. But anyways, 
That's not what this is about. It's about the raffle. So, how can I get into into Creed? About the cheapest way you could, route you could go is if you have already have a twenty two to fifty and rebarrel it, or a three hundred eight six point five Creed. All these anything short action standard bolt face, which you're commonly known as your three hundred eight bolt face, you can rebarrel to a twenty two Creed more, or there are rifles out there that you could rechamber to a 22 Creed more, and that is typically going to be your 2250s. Now, I would recommend doing your research and making sure you get the right barrel twist. Most of your 22 Creed ammo is going to be something heavier than 22, 22 250 ammo. So you're going to want, in my opinion, unless you're hand loading this, kind of like dealer's choice, but. In my opinion, a 1 in 8 twist barrel is pretty optimal for the 22 Creed load offerings available. And again, if you're hand loading, it doesn't really matter. Like, whatever you want to do. Like, if you want to run some lighter grain projectiles and smoking hot velocities, just get a slower twist barrel. It's whatever. But, that said, Tika does a 1 in 8 twist 22 to 50. This makes a perfect, I mean perfect, donor rifle to turn into a 22 Creed. The one we see before us, if you're watching the YouTube channel, is a Tika. And I, I think, I don't remember what they call these. Maybe a varmint light or something like that. It's a one and eight twist. It comes factory with a 22 or 24 inch one and eight twist barrel. It's 22 50. This is the perfect rifle to send and have it rechambered to a 22 Creed more because it's already one in eight twists and it's a Tika. Tika is probably one of your, I'm going to say probably the smoothest factory action out there. Pro- probably. And, you know, Tika has really taken off as far as the aftermarket uh, out there, like stocks and everything else. Now, what I have, what we have here, if you're watching the video, is the Tika light. Came in a ladder stock, but I happen to have a super varmeter stock sitting around. I think it was called a super varmeter. I don't know. These fucking names are killing me. It's uh, essentially all it is. It's a more upgraded stock than you get with the Tika light. So I dropped this one in that stock uh, just for testing. Now I have shot this one a couple hundred rounds. This was rechambered by, per- is it Permian Precision? Permian Precision, Permian Precision here in Midland, Midland. Most, if not all, gunsmiths will be able to rechamber a barrel. In fact, as it pertains to hot rod calibers such as twenty two Creed, six Creed, a uh, in my opinion, as it pertains to those particular calibers and running regular steel or stainless steel barrels. Over something such as a carbon fiber barrel, you could actually set these back, but that's a never different topic for a different day. Let's stick to the program here. So it's still a, I think it's a 22 inch barrel. I'm probably going to cut it off to 18, but I had it rechambered and threaded. Now that's the downside of these. They didn't come threaded, which is what do we do? What are we doing? Why? What? <laughs> In this day and age, why, Tika, listen to me, <laughs> why in the same hell, and I see other companies still do it every once in a while, would you would you offer any rifle nowadays that's not threaded? Like, what are we doing? That's stupid. But anyways, I mean, an argument could be had that, I mean, I know with letting Permium do the threat, Permium. <laughs> Permian, it's Permian. Brandon, <laughs> let Brandon do the thread job. I know it's going to be concentric. It's going to be right. So it, it's not that big of a deal to me to like. I'll buy raffles all the time that won't have threaded barrels and have them threaded. Like Remington still does it. Boomers, because I know like it's going to be a higher quality job coming from my Smith as opposed to most of the shit they're doing. But you know, little side tangent there. So basically, all we did is had to rechamber the, rechamber the barrel, and I now have a twenty-two creed. Now, this thing shoots fantastic. Uh, 
And, okay, I had another one rechambered by Joey Hoffman over there in San Angelo. I don't even remember what it was now, but he rechambered something for me. Shot fantastic. I've had several rifles rechambered to 22 grade over the years. They all shoot fantastic. If the gunsmith knows what he's doing, it's going to shoot good. And if you're trying to pair your ammo with the barrel twist properly, which is what you got to watch out for rechambering these 22 creeds. I mean, these 2250s into 22 creeds. So the Tika, I think it's called the Tika light. 22 to 50 one and eight twist. Tika does still make a slow twist. Uh, 20 to 50 in their super barometer and shit like that. Get that one and eight twist. Uh, you know, and <clears throat> they've been doing this for a while. Cause I remember Kelly Jackson telling me about it. You used to not be able to find these guys. This is one, eight twist, 20 to 50 from Tika. There was a pretty long stretch there where you couldn't find these some bitches in stock nowhere. Um, we actually bought up a bunch of these at Alley Outdoors. I think they're all sold now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'd have to check back in with Matt and them. But I was I able to snag one. Now, what I will be probably doing myself, uh, this thing shoots fantastic. It shoots just as good as, as some of my custom 22 creeds. I'll probably be hacking the barrel off to 18 inches, and I'm going to go check out some of these aftermarket stocks so I can report in to you guys how I feel about them. But... Tika, money. Now, the only other one I would recommend you looking at for this potential purpose, in my opinion, is the Bagara. Bagara does make a 2250 and a 1 in 9 twist. As it pertains to, if you're curious about, because like anytime we do these, it resurfaces old questions. If you're curious about barrel twist, bullet weights, everything else, go check out. I don't remember what episode it was. I did have it right down, and I don't know where that sheet of paper is. We did a full podcast on 22 Creed some time ago. There's tons of information in there about twist rates, bullet weights, everything else. Now, we'll probably be circling around and updating some of that information because of these new bullets, these new higher BC lightweight projectiles. And I am in initial testing on the 62 grain EODBT in a 22 Creed more. So stand by, stand by for that. We have a minute left. Uh, I feel like I've covered everything. What do you think, Jonathan? I think uh, guns are kind of gay, honestly. <laughs> like, what are you going to do? Like, go shoot with a bunch of other dudes? <laughs> now, the 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 Tika lights tend to come in a thinner profile barrel. Just so just so you're aware of that. Like, the varmeters, the, especially the new varmeters. There's some good looking rifles. They're they're upgraded stocks, heavy barrel. But again, like in the 2250, it's probably going to be in the Varmeter line. It's probably going to be that slow twist, 112 or 114. I don't remember. I will say this: if you're wanting like a superb hot rod for light grain projectiles, go for it. <laughs> you know, if you want to like a 53 grain V Max and a 22 grade more and like a 14 twist, you can probably get. You can probably do it in a 12 twist. And I think I have. I don't I have to go back and look through notes. Again, go back and listen to that one full podcast. I know we touched on it. That would be a freaking incinerator. Uh the stupid flat shooting. Uh, in fact, I have a 24 inch, I want to say it is a 12 twist that I do run specifically 53 grain beat max. And that thing is a lot of people throw around the phrase laser beam. That's a legit laser beam. But it's also a 53 grain bullet. A lot of people, that's why they stepped up to the 22 crates because they want that heavier projectile. But anyways, uh, as a whole, Tika's a great action, great rifle. I've only seen one Tika that didn't shoot well, and I've owned multiple Tikas over the years. And that was a 260 Remington. <laughs> you know, blah. But anyways, I mean, that's it. Uh, you want to talk about fair price? I don't know if they've gone up here lately. It should it it should be cheaper than buying a new barrel and getting it chambered and threaded and everything else. Should be, but also like don't skimp on your Smith. Good Smith gets you good results. I mean that's literally 
all it boils down to. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this one. 22 Creed on a budget. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them, down, drop them down below. And again, there's a full podcast of 22 Creed if you have more elaborate questions about 22 Creed more. The book is still not ready. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and address that mainly. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget we have another channel, Tech Spreader Hunting. I will be commenting on this, so you'll see where to go, where we do more in-depth look looks at stuff like this. Um, yeah, let us know what, down below. Like, have you rechambered a 22 degree or a 2050 to a 22 degree? Let us know how, how it went for you, what gunsmith you're using, all that good stuff, and we'll see you guys next time.